Okay, sorry. So, <clears throat> so we have two sections, Tuesdays and online. And for the, the people in Tuesday sections, you can also choose to do online. But I do want to point out that um, based on the previous experiences, um, because we have a um, very difficult simulation game. So it would be, I think it would be easier for you to do in person. And if you want to do online, it's okay. So you need to make sure when you, when you are assigned to a team, make sure you get teammates cell phone number, you know, make sure everybody is in contact with each other. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to text me to, to Zoom, okay? Because on the simulation game, I won't be able to see your screen. The screen I saw is what I will record every week. Every week um, after the game result turned in, the, you know, after the due, due time, they will run the simulation and then we will have winners. We'll have different, you know, we'll have companies that have different performance and then they will rank it. And your grade will be based on, you know, whatever you, you do on the simulation game. It's just one part of the grade. I'll talk about it later. So I'll record that. But whatever I can record are the public information that everybody can see. If you have your companies, you know, your private information that, you know, nobody can see. So I won't be able to see that screen. So you have to make sure your team, the whole team, will come to the Zoom meeting and then we can go through that if you have questions, okay? So that's uh, that's why I thought it, you know, it's easier um, to do uh, to do in person because then usually after one hour lecture, we will let you guys stay there in the computer lab um, to do the simulation game, okay? So <clears throat> anyway, so my name is Daisy Wong and my office is in Gessner 309. My office hour is Tuesday, 10 to 11, Thursday, 10 to 11, and then Wednesday, 12.30 to 3.30. Um, this is my Zoom link. So whenever you want to meet me on Zoom, this is the link, this is always the link. And my office number, and this is a cell phone number, don't call me on my cell phone, just text me. And um, if it's class related, just email me because then we can have a record of something. If it's cell phone, if it's text, it's difficult for me to organize the text. And then sometimes I will lose your text because, you know, so many people text me. So it's better to do email and then make sure, always make sure you put in like 450, 40s class, 452, okay? So we have um, several required materials here. So the first is the textbook. It's an ebook online. It's on top head. So this is the website for the ebook. And then we have two different join code. So for the Tuesday section, even if you are doing online, but you are, if you register the Tuesday section, please use this code. Okay. And if you are in the online section, the CRN 18080, then you use this code for the top head. And then another material we need to use is online simulation game. It's called BSG game. So this is the website, www.bsg-online.com. Okay. And um, <clears throat> so this one is a self, oh, this is wrong. So this is a self pace. I think it's like a, April, let me check. April, maybe 29th or 22nd. Let's say 22nd. So, um, and because we are following the Tuesday class, so all the decision will be due um, on Monday night, 11.59. I'll show you more detail. Okay, so on Tuesday when we come back, um, so Monday night, this will be due. So in theory, at around 12, 15, Tuesday, we'll have the um, the result. And then usually I'll record the result on um, Tuesday. Oh, wait, let me check. Did I say Tuesday or... So second, yeah, Monday. 
So Monday will be due and then Tuesday I will record the result. Okay. So every Tuesday I'll record the result. Um for both well for online section. For the um in person um class, Tuesday class, I will just talk about this um in class. And I will also re record it. We will have an hour. So I'll record it. And then I'll post it on D2L. Okay. So it's actually very helpful if you can watch the video. So this is the this is one part. So our class, uh, we'll talk, we will have lectures. Every class will have lectures. We have based on the textbook that you will purchase online. So the textbook has 12 chapters. So that's the top hat. And in that um in that book, we have um 10 questions every chapters. So we'll have um, totally 240 points. So each question will be worth two points. And then we'll have 12 chapters. So we'll have 240 points from the lecture, from the top head. And then we'll have project that was worth 200 points. So this is the part uh, why I want the online class to be here or watch the video because this project involves um, a company visit and we haven't decided the day and time yet, but it will very likely to be a Tuesday, okay? So um, we are still, I'm still working um, with the company to decide a date and then I already get the approval from the dean, he will sponsor the bus. So we'll have bus to visit this company. And then we have this assessment test it doesn't, um, the assessment test is for us to know um, how much you learn in the past four years in your college life. So this is supposed to be your capstone class, the last class. So that's why we use this class to do the assessment test. Um, it will have several multiple, a lot of multiple choice questions. And um, and then the, the you won't be graded based on the assessment test, but you'll be graded based on the participation. As long as you uh, spend time, really um, try to answer the question, no matter you did right or wrong, you get 60 points, okay? <clears throat> if you did the test too fast, like just guess everything A, everything B or C or D, then your participation point will be low. And then we have the simulation game. This is a team-based, so uh, like I told you, I will form three people into one team. Every team will have three people. And your team will be competing with um, other teams in the same session. Okay, so online session will be competing with each other. And then the Monday, uh, the Tuesday session will be competing with each other. Okay, so usually whatever win the game, the first place, second place, third place, usually they will get an A for this game. So they will get about like 200 points or 190 to 200 points. And then the rest of team, depending on how good or how bad you did, you get different uh, uh, different points. And then from the BSG game as well, you have a three-year strategic plan. This is also team. Okay, the whole team would be making a three-year strategic plan. And we will talk about it a little bit later, like the due date and stuff. And then... um. Under the PSG game, you have simulation quizzes, okay? So each quiz is worth 100 points and there are two quizzes. So the quiz is to, to test whether or not you understand the game, okay? The first one is understand the, the very basics of the game. And then the second one will be whether or not you understand the financial report in the game. So their due dates are a little bit different so I'm going to go through um like the schedule in more details. So the top hat is self-paced. So everything, so everything is due on uh, April 25th. Okay. So it's self-paced. You can you can do everything on your own pace. Just don't forget. But if you for some reason you think you won't be able to do it by the end of by uh, April 25th, please. Uh, send me an email and I'll give you incomplete or whatever grade you get at that time. If it's not a fail, fail grade. If you are failing the class and you say you need more time, then I'll give you incomplete. 
But if you get a D, then I'll give you a D. And if you finish the um whatever you know you didn't do, then I'll change the grade. Okay. And then we have two um well we have the project. So the project we have is um German company Millie. And they are like the top and high end kitchen appliance company. So, um, and then for the class, for our class, we will have um, to work with a, another university, a, another group of students from uh, Dutchland, from Netherlands, okay? So um, through working with another um, college from different culture, different country, you know, we will learn like, oh, they will see things from different perspective. So this is, um, this is something that um, we will also, we probably will do this um, Tuesday. I don't know what time is good, but we will have to meet them online somehow. Okay, so that's the part that um, we have to figure out. And then I want you guys to like think about, but they also we also have time difference. So, um, so for this class, it will be there 10 p.m. So we'll probably need to do like something like 2, 2 p.m., okay? And I know um, most of us don't have class on 2 p.m. So we'll have to set up something on Tuesday, 2 p.m. So that's something um, I need you guys to set aside, um, like maybe once every other month or once a month that you have to you have to discuss this project with another um university okay so <clears throat> so what they want to do is so our um final project that the i mean our deliverables for this project is um we will need to create a video to promote mealy to gen z i mean oh there's a typo gen z or gen gen x gen y gen y and gen z Okay, and then uh, I'm already I'm already arranging a site visit to Millie in Princeton, New Jersey. Okay, and then um, if you have time, you can click on the link to see what they have. You know what they what they are selling. So for so this project, we have two parts. Where do I put the first part? Oh, the first part. Sorry. So the first part is here in the. In the schedule, sorry. Let me let me go through the first part first. Okay, sorry. So the first part, um, because there will be um uh, two weeks, I won't I won't be in Pennsylvania. So this week, this day, um, February thirteen, I will be in Canada to um go to the ACBSP assessment for uh another school. So for this one, uh, since we don't have class, and then I will um post a recording on chapter four but you guys you guys have to um, work with your teammates to analyze the five forces analysis using Millie as your example so go to their website and see what do you think the five forces are and we will talk about five forces on chapter three okay so it will be after chapter three you will have to think about you know what's Millie's five forces that's the first part of the answer and then you need to kind of discuss with your teammates. So those questions. So what does Millie need to do to be attractive for younger target? Okay. And um, do you think building a, a community is relevant for Millie? What are the opportunities if they do? And then the you know third space, I think that means like, can they have another, um, develop another, business okay so should they take a look into developing events outside of the core business what are the opportunities okay the core business is i think kitchen appliance okay but you guys should go to their website and then see what you feel from their website okay and then what are the relevant trends that millie should not miss so this one i want you guys to discuss with your team and since we won't have class, so you can do it virtually, and you need to submit it by the next class by um February twenty six midnight. Okay. 
So, by not next time, by what, how long is this? Two weeks. And then the following week, I also won't be there, have another um, conference in New York City. So this is the project 1.2, okay? So you will need to develop a script that you will use to create a video to promote Millie to Gen Z. So that's, sorry, going back to the project 1.2. So that would be here. So we do, you do research, okay? Like you, like it's already part of a uh, project 1.1. Um, you would try to understand their product and website and um, their range of uh, appliances, uh, whether or not they have smartphone integration, sustainability initiatives, and anything that catches your eyes. Something, something that came to my mind when they say new trend, I think, uh, for Gen Z, I might be wrong, okay? But you guys can kind of talk about it. I think for Gen Z, something important is buy now, pay later feature. I don't know if you guys agree, but um, if they are the high end, they are they are the high end product and they're very expensive. But if I want to have the good stuff and if they have buy now, pay later option, then I would definitely, you know, like consider it more seriously, right? I don't know about you. I'm not Gen Z, but I'm just saying maybe Maybe there's something, okay? So you can identify some key features, um, the three th key features that uh, in from Millie that you find interesting and believe would uh, resonate with your Gen Z peers, okay? And then the script development, develop some kind of script that you want to do short video, okay? It, it could be shorter than three to five minutes because uh, the TikTok is like 30 seconds, right? Or a few seconds. So, <clears throat> Do something that will showcase Millie in a way that appeal to Gen Z audience. Like I think most of you guys are Gen Z, right? Anybody is not Gen Z, you can put it in the chat. So I think you guys should be Gen Z. Um, so you know, try to um see which one would be um better for you guys. And another idea I have, just just put it in chat box. See if I if you agree or if you think it's a bad idea or good idea. So when we are visiting the, when I'm visiting uh, Millie, I'm wondering if you guys can invite your mom or someone like older than you, like in the other generation, like Gen X, you know, or baby boomer to go with you to visit Millie to see like, I want, I'm just curious how like age difference would look at the product differently, okay? Would look at different features. So all you guys, when you guys go to visit the company, their showroom, take pictures of something you like or, you know, take picture of their product and then share with your families or older friends, see whether or not they have the similar taste or they have different opinion, okay? So that's something that I, I you know, I thought would be interesting. So you uh, you should try to think outside the box and then we will do video production, okay? And then we will submit the um, video, submit the video with um, the, yeah, the video with some of the brief explanations to the uh, D2L Dropbox, okay? And um, basically I will, Great, you guys based on you know creativity originality and then also merely they will be look at whatever you guys um see and then um they would um how should I put it they will pick their favorite as well okay so this is the this is the um the project we have <clears throat> simulation game so simulation game. Uh, like I mentioned, it's due every Monday, midnight at 11.59. And then Tuesday, we'll have a result and then we'll go over the result. Um, and then for simulation, there are two quizzes. The first quiz is due on January 29th. Second one due on February 26th. You have three attempts, okay? You have three attempts to do the both tests, I mean, quiz one and two. And after that, if you want to... um. Reset the quiz. You need to email me. Okay, always email me. Um, give me your full name. 
which industry meaning like you are you industry one or industry two? One is the Tuesday class, two is the online class. Okay. And then your companies later, like I will assign you to like company A, B, C, D, E. So you need to tell me you are from which company, which quiz you want to reset. Okay, you need to tell me like, oh, I want to reset quiz one, quiz two, or both. You can reset as many times as you can until April. What is the deadline for? April 25th, okay? April 25th, you can reset as many times as you want. But just don't forget, just tell me all this information. And you don't have to tell me like, oh, I did this, and then the computer stopped, the internet, you know, uh, stopped so I couldn't finish. You don't need to you, you just tell me if you want if you want me to reset the quiz, your name, industry, company, and which quiz. Okay. So and I can do really quick. <clears throat> and then three years strategic plan. We will cover the information you need to put in on three years strategic plan in chapter two. Okay. And it will be due on March 11th. When we come back from spring break. So don't forget. And I won't remind you throughout the semester. If I, I mean, if I remember, I will, but it's your job to remember all this, okay? So um, any questions? So just show you examples on how you look at the tentative schedule. So like today we are supposed to go over the course and then um, we'll talk about the business strategy game and um, I want you guys to, if you could, you can form, well, if we were supposed to meet in person, then most of the, for the in-person class, they will meet and they will form their team. And when we form the team, make sure, um, you know, you have people from different background, but since today we won't be able to. So I'm just going to assign you team unless you know someone that you want to be team with, you should email me as soon as possible, okay? I would probably start from putting everything on D2L, either tomorrow is Wednesday, uh, Wednesday or Thursday. So if you know someone in the same session that you want to team with, you need to email me ASAP, okay? So tomorrow I would... Um, I will assign you to different teams. So each team will have three people, okay? In theory, some team I have two. <clears throat> so like here, it, it will tell you like quiz one is due on um, January 29th, the same thing as the uh, previous part that I show you. And then so on uh, January 30, we will cover, oops, we'll cover um, chapter two, and then we'll go over the result. Oh, I forgot to mention. So the first two rounds, so we'll have um BSG game for the first practice round um on due on January 29th, the same time as you will quiz one due. Okay, so we should have our team formed by next week. And then next um next week after we meet, you guys can have time to work on your game. And then there's um the first decision is due on the following Monday, okay? And then um, on January 30th, we have the second practice round due on the following Monday. And then on this day, <clears throat> our decision, our, our um, game will reset, go back to year 11, okay? But now it's a real run. So, but don't think because the previous two weeks is not a real run, you don't need to do anything. You should try to understand the game during these two two weeks because that's the time where you know it will reset. So if you make like really bad mistake, it will still you know you you can still reset it. But from here, from February six, nothing can be reset. Okay. So if you forget to do the decision one week, then you will suffer. Okay then nothing I can fix, okay? So <clears throat> so make sure, you know, you register for the game and then, you know, start understanding the game already. And then um, on February 13, so we won't have class and I'll post the video online. And then I will also post the 
I don't know if I will have time. So I, I will see because I will be uh, I'll be traveling from 11. So may, um, that, that, this I'm not sure, okay? But if I don't, then I'll still try to record it before the next due um, decision due. So, <clears throat> so for this, you don't forget you have project 1.1 due, okay? I mean, 1.1 that you want you want to work with. And then um, on the 20th, we also don't have class. And then I want you guys to also work with your team to develop a video to promote Millie to Gen Z, okay? And then you have the quiz to do on the following Monday. And then we have chapter six, then I'll kind of discuss the project. Okay, so you this, like everything is due the Monday before we will discuss the project. So after you guys submit your stuff, I'll go over whatever you say, and then we will have a discussion, okay? So your each team should be able to defend your answer in the, like, um, the five forces analysis, what do you think their five forces analysis is? And then same as this, it will continue because we will, we will discuss this with um, the Netherlands students, okay? I don't want you guys to look bad. We guys to look good and sharp, okay? So we need to be very well prepared. So so go, this go on and go forth, but I just want to show you how to read this, okay? And then we have... So basically our year 20, the last decision is due on um, April 22nd, okay? Yeah, so I did, I, I said it right. So April 22nd, and then, but we still have class on April 23rd. That's where we are going to do, do the um, assessment test, multiple choice, okay? And meanwhile, I'm going to try to put this on D2L so we don't have to come to class. You can just do it on D2L, okay? And then I'll see how much time you spend on each question, okay? Please try to do, do it um, as, um, how should I put it? The best you can try to do it, to do, to make, to um, do the test, okay? So the test has everything, like it has something from accounting, finance, you know, operations management, statistics. So it just tests like how well you learned the past four years. I hope it won't be too bad. Okay, so try to try your best to do this test. So that's it for today. Any questions? So two major things. One is set aside a day for for the um visit side visit okay and then think about the idea that i propose like invite someone uh, in from older generations i'm going to bring my some of my dog park friends they are like in 50s 60s so just few of them so so i want to see what they like and what you guys like okay um no questions Oh, someone. Okay, good. Let's see. Okay, no questions. Thank you. So, no questions? Okay. So, if no questions. So, this is this is the hardest class I teach. So, um, I'm not trying to scare you, but this class, you do need to put in a lot of um, <clears throat> effort. And as you can see, um, we have a lot of um, project. The simulation is very heavy in the beginning. To learn the simulation game is very difficult, okay? So, and then the, the project with Millie, um, I don't know how many, anybody from Europe, Europe here? Okay, Europeans are very serious, okay? So, um, so yeah, so, so, Originally, they want they they were talking about um doing the oh okay yeah so um originally um they want you guys to write a 
like 20 page report. And I was like, no, this is not for us. So I thought, I thought I want to make it a little bit fun for you guys. So I thought, you know, we can make a video to kind of talk about Millie. Say, oh, wow, look at their appliance. That's why we need the site visit. So you guys can go there and take pictures, videos on your own. Okay. So if no questions, then I guess that's it. Okay. So um, I will assign you guys to different teams. You can go to, oh, wait. You can go to D2L. D2L. Can you see my screen? I think so. So go to D2L and then go to uh, Oak Strategy. Here, Oak Strategy. And then um, and then go to Communication, under Communication Groups. So after I assign groups, you will be able to see. I already, I already, so you, have, you need to put in the Project 1.1 to Dropbox. I already created a Dropbox. But I will change the name. So it will not be group one, two, three, four, five. You know, it will be A, B, C, D, E. Because on um, BSG game, you guys will be uh, A, B, C, D, E. Okay? So that's it. If no questions, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. And for online um, students, I'll post the videos online. And you can always email me or text me. So... Just wait here for a little bit. Oh, I'm going to um wait, stop. Okay, so I'm going to close it. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Thanks.